Sierra Team 23037 and our project was to develop a 250 pound combat robot, commonly referred to as a battle bot, for the University of Arizona Wildcat Robotics Team. Our sponsors were the Craig M. Berg's Dean's Fund, International Foundation for Telemetry, and Wildcat Robotics Team under the advisement of Dr. Michael Moxley. Additional help was also given by our mentor Steve Larimore and external couples. I'm Nick Severson, Mechanical Engineer and Project Lead of Team 23037. I'm Al Herworth, I'm a mechanical engineer and safety lead. I'm Matthias Ramirez, aerospace engineering and the manufacturing lead. Hello, I'm Alex Waite, I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm the weapons lead. I'm Carson Knudsen, I'm an electrical engineer and data scientist and I'm responsible for electrical design. Hi, I'm Yusuf Choudhury, I'm an electrical and computer engineering major and I'm the software lead on this team. The University of Arizona College of Engineering is a nationally accredited program that prides itself in its community involvement, large amounts of research and student run clubs on campus. 23037 team saw an opportunity to further the U of A's academic variety, and more specifically, an expansion and exploration into robotics. Team 23037 set out the year to build a large robotics community at the University of Arizona. The BattleBots Senior Capstone Team has been sponsored to develop a fully functioning 250 pound combat robot. This robot has been created to compete in the heavyweight class of combat robotics and accomplish three main goals create a robotics club at the University of Arizona develop an academic paper for the International Telemetering Conference, and lastly, design, build, and test 250-pound robot. Our solution acts in accordance with the 2023 BattleBots rules to ensure safe operation and includes extra features like recording data from a suite of sensors and design considerations for a very aggressive environment. The requirements for this project have been derived from the BattleBots rule set and are shown in the following charts. We have organized these requirements into five sections design features, performance, safety, environmental, and electrical interface. Notable requirements include, our robot shall not exceed 250 pounds, spinning implements shall not weigh more than 80 pounds, the robot must be capable of moving at a speed greater than four miles per hour, no external moving part on the bot shall have a speed at its fastest point that exceeds 370 feet per second, if transmitter power is lost, weapon and drive systems shall have power removed and shall come to a stop. Finally, all weapon and motion systems are limited to a 60 volt maximum. While developing the solution for our combat robot, we broke our design into several sections, including an overall theme and design, weapon design, and drive design. To best inform our decisions, we coded an online scraper to compare the success of various designs in the heavyweight league. For the primary weapon, the team considered a spinner, a flipper, and an overhead hammer. Spinning weapon considerations were broken down into a vertical disc, vertical drum, horizontal disc, and a horizontal bar. Drivetrain considerations included choosing a primary configuration on the number of wheels and the number of motors powering them. Our solution is a robot with a vertical spinner weapon and independently controlled four-wheel drive. This configuration would maximize the systems on the robot for competitive scoring. We delineated five systems for us to design, build, and test. The frame, the weapon, the drive, the electronics, and the telemetry. The frame is made of 6061 T6 aluminum on the sides, with AR500 ballistic steel on the bottom. The frame was designed in order to survive large kinetic impacts and being thrown into the air. The design of the frame leverages the structure of other systems to add rigidity and reduce its weight. AR500 shielding and rubber dampening pads help to absorb and deflect oncoming blows. The weapon system consists of two powerful brushless motors on a shared motor mount. To transmit the 20 foot-pounds of instantaneous torque, the team implemented custom motor shafts and aluminum pulleys and uses four belts to improve system redundancy. These belts are tensioned and transmit the power through a 1.7 to 1 reduction. At the other end, two 18.5 pound, six and a half inch radius and one and a quarter inch thick AR500 ballistic steel discs spin upwards of 5,000 RPM within five seconds. The weapon plates attach to an aerospace grade aluminum weapon pulley, which spins around a two inch 4340 steel shaft using tapered roller bearings rated for 42,000 pounds axially and radially. The drive system is made of four mirrored systems controlled by two Robocod 200 amp electronic speed controllers, also known as an ESC. Each wheel system consists of an Amflow A28 150 motor with a 5 to 1 gear ratio to the wheel. Using two steel sprockets in size 40 chain, the gearbox connects to the wheel assembly. The wheel assembly consists of thrust bearings between the spacer and mounting plate, needle roller bearings between the nylon hub and shaft, and tapered roller bearings between the cap nut and nylon hub. 
On the nylon hub are six inch diameter wheels casted with 60A polyurethane rotor. And lastly, to hold it all together, a 3 8 inch steel spacer and a steel master nut. The electrical architecture for the robot starts with the remote control. Using the controller, which you have in hand during the match, 12 channels are sent over to the bot, which control the motion of the weapon and drive systems. Electronic speed controllers for the drive system, uh, we have two of those and we have two for weapon because we have four total drive motors, two total weapon motors. These systems are powered independently from different battery packs and we have two master switches that will be able to disable power to those respective systems. The entire robot uses Thunderpower RC repo LiPo batteries, which provide 60 volts of nominal DC power to the weapon and 24 volts to the drive. The telemetry system operates independently from the weapon and drive system using a 5 volt system. Uh, it collects data from four drive motor encoders, two weapon motor encoders, and a voltage and temperature sensor for each motor. Uh, the data that is collected from all these sensors is exported via Wi-Fi using an ESP8266 Wi-Fi microcontroller that sends the data to Google Fiber's real-time database. A VJS uh, dashboard is then developed that takes and that reads the data, filters it, and updates the dashboard with real-time uh, data for presentation to the driver. And this data is also saved for further analysis post the match. With close to 100 unique parts, integration and manufacturing was carefully thought through. Designs for this project focused on manufacturing from plate material instead of large billets in order to decrease costs. Indexing holes were included in parts to help machinists when switching between setups. And we aim for only two setups per part. We prioritize key dimensioning to be done in-house to avoid compounding tolerance issues. All threaded holes were drilled and tapped in-house in order to decrease the cost of custom component manufacturing, decrease CNC setup count, and ensure alignment with other parts. Throughout testing, we were able to demonstrate that all of our requirements passed. The robot came in at an overall 248 pounds with two pounds of margin, a 57 pound weapon with 23 pounds of margin, a drive system exceeding four miles per hour, point speed under 370 feet per second, and proof of shutdown when communication is lost. With all of our requirements passed, the team made further design changes to increase chances of attending the BattleBots televised show. We added a flamethrower and a mechanism to flip the bot from its back to wheels down. In conclusion, Team 23037 completed all requirements given at the beginning of the project with further analysis into making a combat robot capable of the harsh environment. With over 23 iterations of the robot, the success of the project was from in-depth CAD modeling and the use of manufacturing techniques to limit build mistakes. This preserved both time and budget. With a working robot within the WowBots rule set, the team will be competing in our first event on May 6th. We are Team 23037, and thanks for watching.